searching me easier.
trigger some of the people, so just watch out. You've been warned. Here we have a scorpion. Right here. Um, I wasn't able to figure out exactly what type of scorpion this is, but this is a smaller scorpion. Because they can get like pretty big. Like they can get, they can probably fill out larger than this viewing area that I have right here. But you can see it's a cute little uh, stinger. You, you don't want to get stung by a small scorpion though, because uh, size doesn't matter when it comes to their venom. <laughs> they actually have eight legs, more like a spider. They've got the three back ones and they've got the jaws. So the jaws do not inject any venom. They're not dangerous. This back thing right here, and that's why you need to be careful of. So the quality of this glass encasing is not the best. You can see there's a lot of bubbles, but regardless, it's still a very cool specimen. Side. It actually almost looks like the front. 
inside. So, this is the front side, of course. This is the back side. So, I would be walking this way. And actually, the interesting thing is that it has a little tip right here at the abdomen. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe that's for webs. I don't, I'm not sure if tarantulas can spin webs. Also, they, they can chew through wood and they've 
this one is smaller than the other one. This is the first one. This is the one I'm showing you now. If you look at each head, they are pretty different. This one has a kind of like a little horn at the end. This one just has jaws, so these jaws are much larger than this guy. If they these guys got into a brawl, then this guy would probably because of his size, and number two, he's got some big jaws. But yeah, it's, um, you know, with each species of beetle, you've also got individual little species, like subspecies, in each little category. So this is just a small divergence off of the other scare beetle. It's very interesting to study. but not least we have a very cool um, weevil. So, I mean, a lot of people consider weevils as pests, but they, they can come in many, many sizes. So this is actually a much larger weevil. This is actually a much larger weevil than um, most other most of their weevils are very, very, very small. And those are the ones that are really annoying to farmers because they will swarm the crops and eat it all up. But they can also be much bigger. So this is actually, size-wise, this is like maybe medium. They can be even bigger than this. But um, the cool thing just about this weevil this um, species of weevil is called the blue weevil, by the way. But the interesting thing about the species is that the, the patterns on the outside are striped, which is unusual for weevils, because usually they just have one color. But this one has a bunch of stripes on it, and so that just gives it a very unique look to it. It's just very pretty to look at, too, you know. Um, no matter the size, weevils do uh, end up eating crops that farmers don't want, so that's why weevils are considered pests, no matter how large they are. That was pretty fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, next week, um, I'll probably be doing uh, a normal ASMR video because this was kind of 